Ah, I remember when I first got my He-Man figure here. I do what probably a lot of people did when they first got this guy. I haven't had him that long. What says Christmas more than He-Man, Mortal Kombat? A fabulous new person to deliver a present to will be revealed to me when I hold aloft my hand and say, By the power of Christmas! I have the pilot! I'm an idiot. I'll tell you what actually says Christmas more than He-Man. He-Man and She-Ra Christmas Explosion! <laughs> Move on! Ah, the He-Man and She-Ra Christmas special. I have some pretty fond memories of watching this with friends. And laughing our asses off at Christmas Skeletor. What? So a little backstory on me and He-Man. As a kid, I remember thinking I wouldn't like He-Man all that much before I actually watched it. Though when I did finally catch the show, I found myself drawn into it due to He-Man having a sense of humor, which is what my preconceived notion of it thought it would lack. Also, Masters of the Universe tends to do some... Quite silly ass things. Plundor, anyone? The evil warlord pink bunny rabbit? <laughs> Just amazing. <laughs> but seriously, don't fuck with the bunnies. And some amazing Masters of the Universe characters didn't even make it to the show when they really should have, like Stinkor. Who'd have thought by repainting a merman you'd get a skunk? Not me, that's for sure. Stinkor's gimmick was quite a surprise as well. He stank. Ah. And still does 28 years later. This remarkable stinking longevity was achieved by not just coating the figure with the scent, but mixing patchouli oil right into the plastic. Impressive. Most impressive. Anyway, let's get to the actual Christmas special, which will have He-Man wearing a Santa hat the whole time. Why number one? For the ho 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 ner of Grayskull. Well, that didn't really work. Why number two? I guess. Oh, and Santa was really He-Man the whole time. Thanks for spoiling that one on the back, Adora. Why number three? Even if that one was by me. And here's lie number four. The running tomb. Yes, the running tomb. 51 minutes. Sure, it's 51 minutes. Minus six and a half, though maybe tombs are calculated slightly differently than times. This will be the first time the twins are together to celebrate their birthday with all our family. Adora's friends even came from far off Etheria, and they're all helping to decorate. Yes, Marlena, I know, I have eyes, plus they've been here for almost a week. Oh, sorry, Randor, we just really love blatant exposition back on Earth. Haha, <laughs> yes, you sure do like reminding us you're from Earth, don't you, honey? Oh, don't go there, good friend. <laughs> I don't like that song. My, my heart! Hmm, we probably shouldn't have invited them, or that disgusting Baltard. Uh, but Baltard! Don't make eye contact, honey. He'll move on to someone else. Uh, screw you guys. Oh, Perfuma, thank 
you. They had a character named Perfuma, but actually laughed out the idea of including Stinkor on the show. Come on, Perfuma versus Stinkor could have been the greatest rivalry ever. <sighs> Missed opportunity. I think purple would look good up there, Pika Blue. Try it. What? I thought this was Pika Blue. Remember when you could catch super secret Mip Pika Blue? You know, it reminds me of how we used to get ready for Christmas at this time of year. Christmas? What's that? An Earth holiday? A very special Earth holiday. Oh, how did I ever know it was an Earth thing? Thanks for reminding me of Earth again, honey bunch. Fuck, I hate Earth. I wonder where Adam and Man at Arms are. Just keep it inside. Learn how to hide your feelings. I don't want to know. Shouldn't we be helping with the decorations? We're almost finished here. You know, if it works, this little sky spy will give us a complete picture of Skeletor's every move. Ew, I don't want to see Skeletor doing his business. Oh, <laughs> Adam, I didn't mean that. <laughs> Interesting. Think I'll take a look. And by that, I mean I'll break in and screw everything up. Man, go fuck yourselves, Adam and Duncan. <laughs> You break the handle to start the ship? Fair enough. How do we stop the ship, Duncan? Uh... Just keep it inside. Learn how to hide your feelings. What's happening? Orko has destroyed Christmas. So naturally, the Sky Spy is immediately detected by Skeletor. Clearly, this would have been the ultimate tool in spying on him. Anything notable to report? No. Well, except for that giant rocket outside. Yeah, well, that seems slightly suspicious to me. Yeah, yeah I guess he's right. Is he? <sighs> Skeletor's going after the Sky Spy. Then He-Man's going after Skeletor. Yeah, imagine if Skeletor got his hands on our faulty equipment. He'd have a really obvious flying ship. Uh, better than his. By the power of Grayskull. Uh, Adam, maybe not in here with the computers? Thank you for that. I've got a feeling my brother may need some help. Wait up, Adam. Oh, well, at least I tried. Huh, if he kills Skeletor before I get there, maybe I can finally get a day off. You're trying to grab more than you can handle. You know what? These claws need a manicure. <laughs> Oh, He-Man, you so sassy. But He-Man doesn't have quite the sass of a fat grandma or anything, so She-Ra bails him out and reminds him to use the power of one of his best stock animations. Ready? One, two... Three! They're getting away! What are you doing, Rattler? He-Man ruined our controls! The automatic pilot is taking us back to Snake Mountain. By the way, did you hear King Randor finally legalized gay marriage in Eternia? What? Then take this! I don't need a parachute! That's what you think! Oh, I get it, cause we're diving right in it? <laughs> I guess this means he'll think about it since I'm the only one he gave a parachute to! By the way, my silly joke here reminds me that there's a great quote from Erica Scheimer, who did a lot of voices at Filmation and actually came out in 2007 and said, Filmation was one of the gayest places in town. We should be there any minute now. Thank goodness! I'm pooped! He's a powerful looking brute, whatever he is. Such a creature might be of great use to me. Me, Plundor the Spoiler. All right, Dragon, I've had it. <laughs> Please don't be angry. <laughs> you can speak? Uh, of course. <laughs> so, can, so can you. B -b but I'm a man. Hmm, I don't see it. 
But anywho, what did Skeletor accomplish by shooting his men out of his ship? We just want them to get some exercise? I'm afraid we've lost your Sky Spy. Well, it's a good thing nobody's in it. I never should have gotten into this thing! Well, no one important anyway. Did He-Man just play the... Awkward... I can't understand how the ship just took off by itself. Maybe this finder beam can locate it. No, I guess not. So Orko crashes on Earth and runs into the greatest evil to the known universe. Children. Oh, oh my gosh, Th they'll be buried by that avalanche! I've got to make sure it happens quick! What's up? What are you doing out here alone in the snow, anyway? Getting a Christmas tree. A, a what? A Christmas tree! Until we got lost! Oh, please, can the dramatics, sweetheart? My ship crashed just over that hill. Come on, I'll show you. And maybe we can find a way to get you safely home to your parents. Or better yet, get me! home because i'm the important one duncan adam we've got a serious problem what is it it's orko he's missing missing i'm not seeing the problem adam <laughs> and we just found his magic book outside near the launch pad a launch pad uh-oh spaghettios spaghettios uh what's that it's a flying saucer! Saucer, huh? You things do have education on this planet, right? It's a Christmas tree, and it's to celebrate Christmas. Oh, what's Christmas? Everybody knows what Christmas is! Except probably some people in places that don't celebrate it. Typical human arrogance to think that aliens should know what Christmas is, stupid little shit. You get lots of presents! Presents? <laughs> I think I like Christmas. Well, presents are part of it. But it's also a time when everybody thinks about people. Yeah, I heard your presents. You can shut the fuck up about the boring part of it. Here's where the Sky Spy landed. Why, those are Earth's coordinates. Orko's landed on Earth. Are you saying that we'll never get Orko back? No, all I said was he's on Earth. Are you saying that we'll never get Orko back? No, Teela. My transport beam might do it. The problem is it needs a carrium water crystal to power it, and there are none here on Eternia. Are you saying that we'll never get Orko back? <laughs> oh, Teela, you and your hatred of Orko. And there are none here on Eternia. But maybe on Etheria. It's possible. But it seems like just a wild hunch if you don't actually know, so let's check on planet. If it's in the water, her mister would know about it. But can you have She-Ra contact her? I think that can be arranged. You know, if you can get a hold of her. Yes, Adam. You know, if she's not too busy. You want this sword up the butt, Adam? No. And the three wise men followed the star until they finally reached Bethlehem. But what about the gifts? You said there were gifts at Christmas. <laughs> yeah, Orko knows where it's at. Are you sure you don't want me to come along, sis? No, Adam. Well, just be sure that nothing happens to you. You're my favorite sister. Uh, yeah, can we forget we have another sibling? By the plunger of Grayskull! I unplugged the toilet! So why was there a baby in here? For the honor of Grayskull! I know. I wasn't talking to you. Oh. Presents! I, I think I like this Santa. Can I meet him? Oh no. He only brings presents when you're asleep. Oh, sounds like a real creeper. And if we don't find one, there's no way to get Orko back. And the dilemma was what? Well, despite that, she and Ramista get the stone pretty easily until... 
What's that? <laughs> oh, I love Swiftwind's voice. Swiftwind, by the way, was actually one of many characters voiced by Lou Scheimer, executive producer in the show and one of Filmation's founders. <laughs> Robot. That's a remarkably subdued reaction, considering. Oh, would you look at that? A giant robot popped out of the ground. Swifty, wake me up when something interesting shows up. Get a grip on reality, woman! Oh, uh, well, I guess there's three of them. Suppose that's something. And luckily for She-Ra and Swiftwind, these giant robots shoot bubble lasers. The most lethal of lasers, besides, you know, real lasers. Monstroids, leave her. We must go to Monstroid Central and prepare Oh, seems the giant robots didn't really care that much about them. Guess they just bubble people up for shits and giggles. Autobots, transform and roll out! They're changing into other forms. What evil robots? You get the feeling that really was a dig at Transformers. I don't even remotely get the logic. They're changing! How evil! And I also love that Swiftwind says they're doing this before they even start. It's like Swiftwind was in a position to see the script beforehand or something. Can you even imagine changing form like that? Never. For the honor of Grace! What evil robots? Very evil. They bubbled you and are now going to take off. That's probably one of the least evil enemies you've encountered. I mean, unless this bubble is like airtight and completely inescapable, nope. It's working. Now it's up to Orko. Are you saying that we'll never get Orko back? Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle bells. What's that? I don't know. What was that? I think I know what it is. I hope. All we have to do is hold hands and move over there. Cause teleporting to Eternia with me will get you home quicker. And then, wait, they teleport the whole ship anyway? They needed them to stand in the light to teleport the whole ship. Why? Where is he? In the ship? Holy shit, he was in the ship! Shocking! It's a long story, and it all started when I got into the sky spot. Don't want to hear it, He-Man! There is a great disturbance. A new spirit of goodness has arrived on Eternia. I know She-Ra and once in a blue moon He-Man are kind of a threat, but two bright kids are ruined! The power of Horde Prime may be threatened. Horde Prime, if you're seriously worried about two kids undoing you, just pack it in. Send for Skeletor and Hordak! Ah, good thing he's getting Skeletor on the case. The guy who doesn't work for him. Yes, get that warlord who's not a part of my evil horde. Oh, and secondarily, my loser brother. Will we be home in time for Christmas? I'm not sure. Duncan? Okay, probably not. But then we'll miss Christmas! Yes, if you miss Christmas, you'll miss Christmas. Nothing escapes this one. The twins' birthday is tomorrow. Why don't we combine their birthday celebration with a big, big Christmas party? But what about Santa? Will he be able to find us? Who's Santa? Who's Santa? You don't know who Santa is? I can't believe it. Everybody knows who Santa is. <laughs> Clearly no one was actually laughing there. How did the scene really go? Who's Santa? Who's Santa? You don't know who Santa is? I can't believe it. Everybody knows who Santa is. I don't need any more goodwill at Brotherhood on that planet. Have no fear, great master. I will eliminate this, this 
Christmas spirit before another day is past. You, you can't even handle that muscle-bound female She-Ra. Just a minute. What about the way He-Man handles you, Bone Brain? Bone Brain? Why, you miserable excuse for a villain. <laughs> oh, you just know those two are going to get together. What about me? But... <laughs> Silence! I need you two to start showing brotherhood! What? Whoever you live Christmas from Eternia will be well rewarded. How did Horde Prime even hear about Christmas? Was he spying on the other scenes? Why doesn't he just give step-by-step -step directions what they're doing so Skeletor and Hordak can murder the shit out of Christmas then? I'll make it seem like springtime. Christmas is in the winter. Winter? Oh, no sooner said than done. No joy, you miserable flowers! <laughs> We've got just the right setting for my new Christmas song. Let's try it. Love and caring. No! Jeez, hard to tell why this song didn't become a Christmas classic. But at least terrible music has finally brought peace between Orko and Cal. Never thought I'd see the day. I'm Schnarf! No! There they are! Get the tractor beam ready! Oops, that was the laser beam. Oh, well, I, I, I suppose that works. I, I just wasn't expecting that. All right. Now, of course, the only one they actually ice is Bo and take the kids. And Orko for some reason. Well, what you and no one knew is these three are a pretty hot commodity, cause remember those robots who were super evil because they transformed? Well, they want them! For no particular reason, and steal them from Hordak. Place the creatures in prison. When Horde Prime comes for them, we... We'll deal with him. They don't even want to turn them into Horde Prime for a reward. They just want children in jail. Maybe they're onto something. We know the children are in the fright zone. And we also know that He-Man's got a distractingly thicker outline than me in this shot. I'll try to help. <laughs> Hit their own kids. But the little robot people have gone to rescue the children. Robot people? You mean the machines? Oh, of course, the machines. Why didn't they think of that? You know them. They're the guys who are. who are. Only in this Christmas special. The evil Transformers, aka the Monstroids, did have another appearance in She-Ra where they worked for Hordak. Guess they made up for Christmas after fighting over child custody. Also, this buddy... You have ten seconds to gather your beast companions and be part. Sounded like this. You want the most powerful machines in the universe? To destroy flowers? Hmm, well, they do trip them in this episode. That explains it. Hello. Who are you? My name's Cutter. <laughs> How cute. How did you know we were here? We're the Manchines. The Monstroids are our enemies. Come on, let's get you out of there. Whoa, you shouldn't just throw such a complex backstory at us getting lost here. They don't call me Cutter for nothing. Watch. They're changing into other forms. What's evil, Terrifying.
So, these are the manchines. I guess you'll find them cute as they're haunting your nightmares for the rest of all time. Japan! There's a menstruate just around the corner! What evil creatures! Put them back in the cells, and the manchines with them! You're pretty good at giving orders, Metal Mouth. Now let's see how good you are at taking them. Move away from my friends. Well, I'm the best at taking orders. Move away, boys. Oh, thanks. No, that's too easy. We need another action scene. Clumsy, clumsy, clumsy. <laughs> what works for my sister works for me. Destroyed him so easily. Who's the real monstroids? Who's the real monstroids? Why are these disgustingly cute abominations that powerful compared to the giant transformers? Just what is going on? Oh, and don't forget, they have a puppy. It plays a very important role. In Skeletor's heart. What? See? Skeletor makes sure to take it instead of Orko, even. Clearly he knows what's up compared to stupid old Hordak. What? Ah, oh, this Christmas special is terrible! Swift win! Oh no, you don't, she -ra. Oh no, a topless cage. If only that horse could fly. What? It's harder! Red. Ah, that skull faced scoundrel has damaged my ship! Why are you telling? Us, Hordak? And sorry to say, Hordak, if Skeletor can cripple your ship that bad with one shot from his little hover bike, you might want to ask Horde Prime for a better Christmas gift. He does at least manage to return fire and hurt Skeletor's bike enough to make him land in the snow. The dead snow! <laughs> no, not really, it's just regular snow. Move it! Please, mister, be nice. It's Christmas time! Christmas time? What's that? It's a time when you should act more like this. It's almost enough to make even me smile. I think I will smile. What? Who is that beautiful abomination? I'm Skeletor, this planet's original good person. What? In that case, I hate it! And I hate Christmas! <laughs> oh, that is so Skeletor. But now it's time to power you up! By the power of protecting children, I am Christmas Skeletor! Use that word around me. Oh, wait. I have to get Relay. No. Leave him. But he'll freeze. He'll freeze? Isn't it a machine? Oh, whatever. <laughs> Christmas Skeletor! I don't know what's coming over me. Oh. Stop licking my face, you dratted dog! Get away from me! Oh, now you stop chewing on my face! Stop it! That's not a bone! Oh, shit. Look, no matter how asinine you may find the special to be, you've gotta love Christmas, Skeletor. It's too funny. Meep, meep. Meep, meep. It was nice of you to say Relay, Mr. Skeletor. I am not nice. Oh, stop that! Do you want me to hold him? Eh, uh, no, eh, uh, no, no, we'll go faster if, uh, if I carry him. Aw, oh, looks like someone's a bone with a heart of gold. What? Tell me more about this, uh, this Christmas. Everyone has lots of fun. You mean they get in fights? No, no, they have fun. Fights are fun. I like fights. And you give each other presents. And when you open them, they explode, right? Oh, Skeletor, you are the living end. I love you, buddy. Thanks for the gift. They're nice gifts. Nice? Doesn't 
sound like much fun to me. Quick, get behind me. <laughs> no one fucks with Christmas, Skeletor. We'll take those children. No, I'll take those children. Hornet, double drat. That's right, Skeletor. I figured you'd show up here. You figured he'd show up where you were tracking him to? Yeah, I suppose. But as amazing as Christmas Skeletor has already been, his shining moment is here. Uh, what? 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 I don't know what's happening to me. But I must save the children. <laughs> Skeletor, I must see the children. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I must save the children. Christmas Skeletor is pretty damn powerful too. Just watch him blow Horde Prime's ship out of the sky. Blast! He saved you? I think Shira and I deserve some credit. I mean, we just freaking threw a ship into space. I, I, I guess I did. I wish I knew why. Well, I think you're feeling the Christmas spirit, Skeletor. Oh. Don't worry, Skeletor. Christmas only comes once a year. <sighs> Thank goodness. Christmas. Here, a flying belt for each of you. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas, young lady. Merry Christmas, brother. Ho, you know, you knew it was me all the time, didn't you? Wow, how'd she figure that one out? I mean, it's no He-Man disguise or anything. What? Oh boy, Duncan, get them out of here. Yeah, yeah. By the power of Grayskull, I have Oh, let's face it, He-Man is ruined. Oh, Mother Father, it was great! There was this guy and girl who would transform by changing their clothes, and no one could tell they were the same people! Shut up! And now we can all have a Merry Christmas. Except for that stupid ball tired, right, a newbie? He's the biggest loser on planet Fairer. <laughs> <laughs> ball tired! What the Galaxy Warriors? Well, that was the He Man and She Ra Christmas special. So that's how Christmas first came to Eternia. Oh, and suddenly, this is a story Adam is telling to Orko. Orko, who was central to its plot. What the? This special is amazing, primarily for Christmas Skeletor, but it's pretty funny throughout. It's silly, sure, but I mean, what else would you expect from a He-Man and She-Ra Christmas special? Merry Christmas, Skeletor, everyone! I'm afraid I didn't much care for this review, Phalus. And a hard act, New Year. What's going on? Christmas Skeletor to the rescue! I must save the children!